What's going on guys? We're out here with Chris and his 88 CRX. Today he's going to install a blocks harness bar. We hadn't shared with it with you guys before but he picked up a Corbo seat and a PCI bracket for it about two months ago. And he's also going to install a Takata harness on there. We just got done checking out SI Rico's blocks install bar on his 88 Civic Hatch. If you haven't subscribed to him, check him out. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel right here. He has some cool stuff going on with his CRX and his Civic Hatch, both boosted. But we use that for instructions because this setup doesn't come with any instructions. So that just kind of gave us an idea of the direction that these little brackets go because we were unsure. I thought they used the nuts, but I guess not. While putting together the heim joints onto I guess the stabilizer bars, which attach the bar itself down to the mounts on the, on the chassis. We've noticed one of these is wrong because it has two small, two small heim joints and two large ones, but these are both large openings there. This one is small and this one is also large, so this bar is unfortunately incorrect. So we're gonna run to the store and see if we can find another heim joint that's a large size like this real quick, just to, amend the situation so we can keep moving forward with it. For the set? Are they off-road? Yeah, they're off-road. That's cheap. The ones I'm looking at are like 400 for the set. I guess there's a discount, I guess. For the CRV, the yeah. prices you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Because we were going to buy that. You need help? You want me to hold it? Yeah. Like put it into the bracket? Yeah. There it is. Yep. Feed a bolt through there. Forward, back. I can't see it. Let me see. Um, there, it's, it's moving now. Okay. You should be able to find it. Am I pushing it the wrong way? Uh, hold on, hold on. Is it right there? Just leave it. Oh, it's threaded. Yes. Yeah, I forgot. Threaded. I'm sorry. I thought I was just trying to drop it. Oh, man. I hope I didn't put the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Cool. We had it way wrong when we were trying to like test fit it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So it has to go up on the ceiling more. Right there. See? Yeah. Okay. Right, like right there. Hold it there and I'll I got it. I'll bolt it. Okay. Are you gonna tighten it a little bit? Yeah. Is it does it look even on both sides? I would just put the, bar, put the bar through first, because then when it's up, you'll know the height, and then we can tighten it. Because right now, you can't, if you tighten it too much, you're gonna have to re-loosen it. Okay, true. I think it's gonna be even naturally, because there's no, it doesn't flex anywhere, so this moves naturally with itself. Should I put the net on the inside and the bolt on the outside? Um, I think, uh, yeah, that's probably better. And then, 
Those those joints, those joints, those arms serve, they're like a camber kit, so you can spin it and it'll tighten it. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Okay. You can spin it? Yes. Okay. Did I put a washer on this side or not? Too short, huh? Is the the bolt relatively tight? Mm. It doesn't need the washer? No, the nut's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. I think you're okay. Exactly, right? Alright. So that one's good. I'm just on this. Did you ever notice that this one has a little wire? Yeah, isn't it for the seatbelt light? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it had one. Cause we gotta be able to finish it somehow. <laughs> Tighten it as well. Now you can use the rat the ratchet. Okay. Need a wrench for that, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, not anymore. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands first. It's the toe strap right here, too. I know, I saw. <laughs> That's interesting. And it's probably just as strong. Does it come out? It should come out. This little thing? It says lift metal part here to lengthen. I think this comes, it slides out. <laughs> Damn, got pretty fat. So what, it took buying a harness bar and a Takata <laughs> harness for you to realize that? <laughs> <laughs> So the whole car, man. So these. I think you uh, you can adjust it. So obviously, like you have a different driver. Yeah. So you can adjust those. Are you happy with where it's at right there? Yeah, right there feels pretty good. Okay, so we'll tighten them up a little bit from that point. You're good. I'm just gonna go over here. So when you pull all the slack through? Yeah. How's that feel for you on this side, your right side? This one, let's see. To take? Yeah, it feels good because I can tighten it over here. So the left more? Yeah, the, the left more. There's a lot of extra slack. But that's where they sell like those little loops. You can run it back and tighten it. More on the left? Uh, if you can, a little bit. Right there. Too. That's good? Yeah, because this one you can't go anymore. Okay. So That's you good. have to tighten it there. But it's good though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to try it? Hold on, let's uh... You guys want to try it? See. Just loop it again, I guess. I guess. Do you think it'll fit through there again? No. It's too tight already? I guess you're just gonna want to loop it to the side or something. Want to loop maybe... it together? Like make it like a little boat here? Maybe? Uh, what? <laughs> want to make it a little... Bubble. Yeah, <laughs> make, it, make it nice and pretty. Put probably like zip tie it rolled up or something. That's what I was thinking, like right here. I think just on the sides, like pull it to the side, and we can wrap it around, throw a zip tie around it for now. So it doesn't, all the slack just doesn't flap around. It's like this. And put a zip tie there. 
Oh, you just cramp it? Yes. Slip. Okay, cool. If you want to do that, Chris, let me show you. But other than that's good. So after getting it installed, it's a pretty fairly straightforward install. The only exception we had was the bar. We had that issue with the heim joint and the bar being incorrect. So that one's actually not all the way on yet. We have just a bolt through the top holding it there. He wants to be able to remove it. He's gonna check in town, see if he can find a heim joint that fits. We need a larger one. He's also gonna contact uh, JHP where he bought it from. Maybe they can just send us one. But that's all he needs is a, a different size heim joint which fits that lower bolt. But other than that, really easy to put together. And the harness bar, the way it was attached to the harness itself, we ended up removing these pieces. These are when you have the harness come through and attached to the chassis of the car, but since he's not doing that, uh, these are just removed for the meantime. <laughs> we're laughing because we're talking about the prices. The harness bar was 150. The harness itself was 190. The seat 330, and you said 250 for the PCI. Like 220. 220 for the PCI. So. Relatively expensive setup for all those parts, but you know it's worth it. You got some really nice parts, nothing no name. Blocks is probably the cheapest part on there, and the exception of the hardware being incorrect was probably the only downside, but it doesn't seem like a difficult fix. And that wraps it up guys. Really simple install today. Just wanted to share a little bit more footage of Chris's CRX. We haven't really touched it lately because there's really not much else to do. He's just been driving it at the track. Um, a couple months ago he let me borrow it, took it out the track. If you want to watch some of those videos, click in the upper corner. I'll have the, the links for those. But thanks for watching today guys and we'll see you next time.